Hi, uh, my name is Gina Hurry. I'm the founder and visionary of Inspiro Birmingham. And um, I love to invite people to create together. I think one of the most valuable um, takeaways from this whole process has been the beauty of community and the need for community, not only in the creative process, but in life. And it's been really beautiful to see these men confess their need for each other and for a community around them to rally um, to help them make it through the process. So um, here they are, here's their work and their story, and we hope you'll join us for the show. My name is Matt Underwood. Um, I like uh, large-scale abstract paintings. Um, anything that is freeing of, you know, movement. I like to move around the canvas. I don't like to do anything that's um, really small or constricting. Um, for me, it's it's always been a release. So, almost the bigger the better, the freer I feel. So that's um, something I really like and enjoy. And I think that this is um, this was for a reason. Um, I think. Uh, I used to paint a lot as a kid, uh, all the time. It was my escape from um, a harsh reality. It was my way of, you know, finding my way through life. And uh, my mom died when I was young, and I didn't pick up a paintbrush for six years. Uh, and I think that, you know, in a similar loss, very close to my heart this year, in a tough situation, I think that this show came for a reason. And I think that reason was for me to get out here and paint and not give up hope and to, you know, keep going. And I think that that's kind of what it's done for me. And I think that not only am I honored, but I think it was for a reason. As I said, this has been the hardest year of my life. And this is a song that I'm gonna, I may wanna try not to get upset here, but this is a song that um, I heard. Um, and it's, it's about fighting, it's about rising above. It's about we may fall a thousand times that we continue to get back up and through hope and faith and, you know, love for each other that we can do that. And I think that that's sort of, it relates to my life in so many ways right now that I can't even tell you, but it, especially with this show, um, you know, instead of giving up on art, instead of giving up on a lot of things, instead of giving up on life, you know, I've, I've, I've risen up, uh, you know, through help of friends, through faith, through Inspiro, through this program, through you and been able to, you know, paint, to get out here, to, you know, express myself and express what I've gone through, but try to create and have this process to make everyone feel better and to, you know, rise above, you know, a lot of the bad that I've had to endure this year and, and try to see that there's still hope and happiness and joy. And, you know, I think that in my artwork with, with you know, just the colors and the movement and the patterns and the things that you'll see, I think that you'll see that that is, that is about what, what it's about. It's about hope and it's about rising up. So. I'm Marty Balenci. I'm also known as Free Soul. Um, I do a little bit of everything when it comes to art. I pretty much consider myself a Renaissance man. I'm primarily an image photographer. For this show, I have photographed six different artists from Birmingham who have inspired me. And with those photographs, I've turned them into portraits that I create using blue painter's tape. Each one of the artists came over, uh, which was kind of like an art date. Uh, we talked about art, influences, inspirations. Each one of them walked me through their creative process, talked about any kind of rituals that they may do whenever they either write music, poetry, work on visual arts. And as I worked on each one of their pieces, I listened to music that they created or artists that have inspired them. And I tried to recreate any kind of rituals that they had to kind of give me a sense of what they do um, when I work on their pieces. Um, each one of these portraits I'm going to give as a gift to the artist. And I hope that every day whenever they look at them, whether they are up in their studios or homes, that they remember the night that we talked. And it'll be a constant reminder of the inspiration that they've given me, and in turn will keep inspiration and motivation inspired in them. It was such an honor to be a part of the show because I really like Inspiro's vision of making Birmingham beautiful. So if I can be a part of the process that makes Birmingham beautiful again, then I am just more than honored and humbled to be a part of it. My name is Ty Smith. I'm a painter and educator. 
Um, I'm from Montgomery, Alabama, and my wife Amanda and I, we moved here a little over a year and a half ago, which is where our son was born, um, here in Birmingham. And um, so I have my studio here, I work here, and uh, I teach here at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. All right, so I got I got involved with this show um, after catching up with Michael Witten. He and I used to be uh, college roommates, and so uh, when he told me about y'all's show, I guess y'all were looking for one additional artist, and uh, so I thought that would be exciting. Me being new to Birmingham, um, you know, obviously I'm passionate and committed to to painting um, and to drawing, and so I thought it would be a great way for me to participate in something going on in the community and in a way to introduce my work uh, to the community of Birmingham. So, so the work that I'm going to show um, here coming up in a couple weeks is I chose five works. Um, two of them are works on paper. One's a charcoal drawing and one's a, um, an acrylic wash. And then I'll show five, uh, three oil on canvases. And the, the five works, they don't necessarily, um, they don't represent a, a, a body of work, um, but they do span uh, two years of uh, work that I've made. And so I thought, well, with this show uh, being kind of an introduction to what I do as a visual artist and, and being new to Birmingham, I wanted to maybe show some, some work that would show a range of things I'm interested in and things I've been trying to work on. So they, um, they'll, they'll have obvious relationships to one another because it's my hand, um, but they don't necessarily uh, make up a, a single body of work. Um, so, uh, so I'm pleased with each one of these and they, they, hopefully they stand up on their own. I am E. Edward Bruce Phillips, Jr. I am a mixed media artist and um, I work with a combination of a variety of media in my work, photography, painting, drawing, and uh, et cetera. Uh, the process is, um, is it kind of goes along with, you know, the work that I've already been doing. Um, as, you know, mentioned in the title of the show, A Five Man Show, I, th I think my work has a very masculine quality. I've, obviously, I'm a male and I think it speaks, you know, volumes for who I am as a person. And the somewhat industrial feel of uh, the process. Well, when, I would like the viewers, when they view my work, to take a look at the uh, way that I take objects and environments that we see every single day and um, see my take on those things, the, the way I arrange them in my compositions. Some of the pieces I do, I use the images right side up that I may photograph, other ones I may invert. And uh, I want everybody to bring their own perspective to the work. I use a lot of perspective, but I want everybody to bring their perspective, their past experiences into the work. And when they view it, they bring that along with them and hopefully they'll engage in the dialogue with my pieces and possibly me at the exhibition. I um, really enjoy the fact that I really have not been in the Birmingham area for that long. And to be, become part of the community via this art show is um, you know, a really nice thing. And it's just, uh, as I mentioned before, it's nice to uh, unite with uh, fellow artists. You know, people have a similar um, goal in mind. My name is Michael Witten, and I do sculpture. Uh, I'm honored to be asked to be in the Five Man Show. Truly honored, because I actually haven't created any art in over 10 years, and it could be closer to 15. And um, this has just given me an opportunity to create again. And to be honest with you, I have been, this past year, I've kind of been on a journey, a heart journey, and trying not to recreate myself, but to kind of rediscover myself. And um, obviously art is a big part of that, but I had kind of pushed it away. I kind of shut that door a long time ago because I just got busy with life and um, just I didn't make it a priority. I, I didn't think it was important, but actually it's very important because it's always been there and I've always 
it's always stirred my heart. I've always wanted to do more, but I just never made the time to do it. And so when I was asked to do the show, frankly, I was frightened. But I knew when I was asked I had to do it. I've always been drawn to the figure, but more in an abstract way. It's almost like I'm recreating the figure. To me, the human figure is just a, it, it's a sign of beauty and life. And I've tried to do other things. Actually, there is one piece in, my, in this show that's totally different for me. So I would say that that has been a huge stretch in this whole process. As I go to create, I'm always drawn to the figure, but I actually was able to kind of step outside of my comfort zone and go even to another level of creating again. And so it's brought me to this place of just newness, new discovery about myself as an artist and as a person. So.